We're back. Okay. This is the easiest science Sunday that we have ever done, but I wanted to do something that was really easy that you could do with the kids with things that you have left over from the holidays. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to dissolve candy canes. <laughs> I'm excited. You're yeah. looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay. So this is what you need. Literally leftover candy canes, hot and cold water and a cup or a jar. So what we have right in front of us is hot water in front of me, cold water in front of Caitlin. So, Caitlin, I want you to take two candy canes. You can pick whatever color you want. I have a variety of colors. Two colors. Yes. And I want you to put one color in the cold and one color in the hot. Okay. And then we're going to observe what happens. So, what's going to happen, and I'll go ahead and tell you, but we can observe too. And I wanted you to do, do a variety of colors to show that whether or not you have the typical peppermint color, whether you have the fancy ones, you know, that are different, like sour candy colors or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you can literally do whatever color you want because what happens is the exact same. So do you notice what's happening? Yeah, it looks like it's dissolving a bit. Okay, do you notice which one is happening a lot faster than the other one? The, the hot one for okay. sure. So do, would you like to know why? Yeah, tell okay. us why. Okay, so solubility of water. And the reason why this is important is a real life world example is parents, I know you know this, sugar in your coffee sugar in your tea. Um, anytime that you're making anything, a powdered energy drink, we put things in water all the time. So solubility of water is extremely important. So as you're explaining these to the kids, you can talk about, oh, like when mom cooks, you know, when dad cooks for you, um, when we make things, you know, at home, when we bake, when we cook, when we do chemistry experience, all those things, we use solubility of water. Um, so the reason why it dissolves faster in hot water is because when you have anything that's hot, the molecules in the hot water bounce a lot quicker. So you think of things that are contained, the hot water molecules go like this, whereas the cold ones are a little bit more like this. Okay. And so because of that, you see things like this turn the colors a little bit faster, whereas the cold, it still happens, it just happens a lot slower. So it's like a fun little thing that they can do that's more observing that you can see really fast in front of you. I chose water just because I feel like that's a little bit easier for the kids to see, but I know this is experiment is a relatively common one, some of them that they do it in schools. You can do it with oil, with vinegar, with soda, things like that to kind of see um, what other things that you know can have the effects. I also think this is a really good one to also explore the scientific method, maybe ask them beforehand what they think is going to happen. Another thing that it also talks about is when you talk about like the hot and cold, that's talking about kinetic energy mm -hmm. and kinetic energy is anything that moves. So kinetic energy is the energy we possess when we're moving. So Kaylin and I have kinetic energy because we're moving right now. The molecules themselves, the hot water has more kinetic energy because it's bouncing around. So it's kind of those basic elements that we talk about in science, but doing it in a fun way with things that literally you probably have all around your homes because I know mine after Christmas was hectic. So maybe this is something that you can do. And of course, maybe keep them occupied, do it and they're just a nice little fun activity to do. I will say though, of course, because it's hot water and we ours was scorching, I'll tell you when we came on, uh, please make sure of course that you have parental supervision. But this is really cool. I don't know if you guys can see it at home well, but it is literally almost like bright orange, this little green one. Whereas, I mean, the one in cold water is happening, but it's just happening a lot slower. Um, and after I, the kids learn a thing or two, they can, uh, you know, grab, grab a candy cane and have yes. a reason and to I have did, some snacks. And I did, I actually, I brought extras so that you could have one yourself. So Thank there you, you go. my friend. <laughs> I actually like the original. Okay, the well then I'll take the blue one. <laughs> That's my favorite, so. Hey, cheers. cheers. And oh. cheers to Science Sunday. We, of course, will be back right after the break talking more about the forecast, not just for today, but for the evening ahead.